Another conviction that happened at the same time, and this is also interesting to contrast with Ray Epps, is a journalist entered the Capitol on January 6th because he was covering the events and he wanted to actually capture on videotape what these people that had entered the Capitol were doing. His name is Stephen Horn. What do you make of this conviction? I mean, is he using the excuse of being a journalist to try to escape responsibility for having entered the Capitol? Or is this literally punish- punishing the press? No, I know of Stephen. He has done good reporting work on January 6th. In fact, he just released an 80-minute video a few weeks ago talking about how what happened on that police line on the Western side, um, how those confrontations between protesters and police started, how police really initiated a lot of those confrontations by using munitions like stun grenades and rubber bullets and tear gas on that side. Um, So he is a journalist, but look, we also see People tied to InfoWars who also have been charged and convicted. Owen Schroyer was just uh, convicted and sentenced to 60 days in jail. So the carve out now, Liz, as you know, the place was swarming with media all over the place. And, and not to mention filmmakers like Alexandra Pelosi, Nancy Pelosi's daughter. Why have they not been charged uh, in a similar capacity as Stephen Horn? I mean, Nancy Pelosi's daughter was in secure locations accompanying her mother to um, Fort McNair, where congressional leaders were going. We don't even know if she has a security clearance. I doubt that she does. However, she is off the hook while someone like Stephen Horn charged again with four common misdemeanors. Not only should he not have been charged, here he is convicted in less than, I think, 70 minutes by a D.C. jury and now faces, and I've seen this, up to 12 months in prison for his conviction on those four misdemeanors. So we have this DOJ continuing to round up, not just, you know, trespassers or those who assaulted police, but now journalists as a way to, you know, signal to all of us who cover things on the right uh, that you will not enjoy the same protections as corporate media or politically tied filmmakers and documentarians like Nancy Pelosi's daughter. 